May the peace of the risen Christ be with you. Our journey begins with wonder. Very young children ask the question, why? Why? Perhaps you remember riding in the back seat of a car as a very young child and watching the moon, which seemed to follow you. Why? The stars of the sky, the horizon of the ocean, the beauty of the flowers, the majesty, majesty of the mountains continually amaze us. But it is the wonder of another person which amazes us most of all. We are all enchanted by beauty and goodness. We want to know the truth and we want to live in peace with others. In a word, we want life. We want to know the very source of life. One of the reasons why sex is so powerful is because it is the normal way in which life flourishes and comes into this world of ours. But there's more than just physical life. There's the life of the spirit. You and I are people who understand a human person to be a self-reflective spirit who has the ability to make free choices intelligence and free will. And we make these free choices through our body, through matter, which we call flesh and blood. Jesus Christ taught us and showed us that we are equally loved by God and that each of our lives are sacred, both in body and in spirit. Every form of violence whether it is in thought, word, or action, is wrong. It is wrong because it violates the very being of another person. It violates life, diminishes it, and sometimes takes it. This past week, people from all over the world have said, the lives of people who have black skin matter. And we certainly agree with that. But we also say those with brown skin matter or white skin matter or any other color. So does the life of a child growing in its mother's womb. And so too is the life of those who are sick or close to death. Every life, young or old, from whatever race matters. Let us pray. Risen Lord, you once walked with your disciples on the road to Emmaus. Sometimes like them, we too feel discouraged and overwhelmed. You gave them new hope by reminding them of the great biblical stories in which God interacted with people to bring them to new life. Open our hearts now. Help us to see with the eyes of faith that you are with us on our journey of life. Nourish us with your presence through your holy word, through the community which we belong to, and through the Eucharist which we long for. Nourish us so that we may share with others the good news that you are risen, that you are the Lord of life, and that you have come to bring us a message of peace, joy, love, and life without end. Amen. Have a blessed day.